Alright, listen up. I've got something to say to all of you right now, before anything else. I stepped on a rake. This is a brand new, actual content, underrated ARG exploration video I made. Exactly what you expect and want from me and know me for. When this video went out, it was titled, How to Video Results, How to Make a Nightmind Video, with a title card like this, because I was leaning way too much into playing with the theme of the ARG. And as a result, it made tons of you think it was an actual how-to video for me, and I've got a lot of viewer feedback literally telling me this was the case for them. I not only screwed up my presentation, I made thousands of you miss the last full-on content drop of Cabin Fever Dreams this season. And not only does that deprive all of you who are expecting a good finish, it deprives an awesome project with dedicated and talented creators of the viewership they deserve. What they made reminds me of Wham City comedy material like this house has people in it. I am not joking. It's a great ride, and I fumbled the ball so hard on making that clear that some of you might as well have just wrote skill issue in the comment section if you did watch it, because yeah. Yeah, skill issue. I own it. I own it. I made one of the dumbest self-owns in video uploading I've ever made. So guess what? This is not how Cap and Fever Dreams ends this year. Gilbert Garfield is how Cap and Fever Dreams ends this year. I've cleaned up the VOD from our night exploring it over on Twitch. So for all of you who I confuse with mishandling how-to video results, you've got a double feature. This was going to be a fun bonus surprise, but now it's about honor and picking myself up from falling on my ass. I apologize. I appreciate it immensely if you double back and view that how-to video results coverage, and I hope you sincerely enjoy this truly insane project that has way, way more quality to it than I anticipated and the Twitch chat's equally baffled reactions. For everyone who did watch how-to video results, happy epilogue. And again, to everybody that I, uh, completely turned off with the original presentation and confused the shit out of, I apologize. May I now present the wackest, most brilliant, stupid shit I could have ended this season with in the highest form of compliment I can give in that fashion, another disturbing creation from the mind of one sickhead who can't tell the difference, and thanks for another great Cabin Fever Dream season. Alright, Specka, settle down. <laughs> Jimmy Nails, thank you. Alright, let's hear it. Okay, so right away we can understand that this is a special, uh, a crossover special of some kind that was discovered. All right, and actually, will this work for us? Hey, this will work perfect. Aw, oh, yeah, I made the right call. Here we go. So I was watching this movie with Boris Karloff. In it, he tells a story, and he tells about how only a disgusting Italian would invent lasagna. And the story goes, this old Italian grandma, which they call known, was so ashamed her pasta was only a, a, a big rectangle. And she tried to hide it with mozzarella, but it just looked like a Caucasian melty flesh. Okay. Oh. Me, I am. Um. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> right away. <sighs> so John finally bit it. All right. Heartburn Pink Derg, thank you for resubscribing. Uh, that was a lot. Um, first, first reaction I've got is, uh, whew. all right. So that was, that was shockingly good quality, uh, for something that immediately seems like it's going to come across as just a shit post. Um, like shockingly good, uh, <laughs> The, the little bits of animation, the the fully hyper-detailed stuff, like, 
his his let's just roll back for a second okay episode 14 garfield and odie kill john air date 9 13 1987 Hey, Giga, thank you for the chair. I'm going to be back in business on the 24th with a new job, so I dedicate these bits to having nice things. Awesome! Congratulations to you. And Hype Train completed at level 5. Thank you for everybody who contributed. So let's see. 9-13-87, Garfield and Odie kill John. Well, it certainly looks like that's what happened. Uh, and Gilbert Garfield is apparently uh being terrible to italian people in this so i was watching this movie with boris karloff in it he tells us all right mutant tape pig thank you for hopping in and yeah i've i've heard i've heard i've been told a few things about this I just, I love how something that seems immediately like it's just gonna be almost a YouTube poop is significantly showing better than that already. Story. And he tells you about Even from just a custom tape. About how only a disgusting Italian would invent lasagna. And the story goes... Okay, so the alien shot Garfield. Uh, not Garfield, Odie. Old Italian grandma, which they call known, was so ashamed. Like that, that, that thing right there, just this one moment, like the SpongeBob classic. Uh, and I know it's older than SpongeBob, but this, this old trope in the cartoon of just let's go to a very hyper detailed frame of a single shot. <laughs> ashamed. Her pasta was only a, a, a big rectangle. And then she tried to hide it with mozzarella, but it just looked like a Caucasian melty flesh. Looked like a Caucasian melty flesh. And blew up the house. So, did the alien arrest Gilbert Garfield for the murder? Um. So, if you take a look, for example, here's a lesson in murder, everybody. Okay. Um. It looks like John suffered. Because he was stabbed in several places where there is not a major hit to induce lethal effects. You see, uh, the heart appears to have been hit, but the scissors to the face, that would not kill you. Two of those knives, probably not going to kill you. That lower knife about the leg, if that hit the right artery, then yeah, yeah, that could, I guess, kill you. Uh, but uh, it looks like John suffered before he died, which... It's up to you if you decide that's for the best. <laughs> Me, I am. And now we're on to the next clip, so let's go ahead and let this roll. So she digs through her disgusting Italian jar for the only liquid she has to cover her shade tomato sauce. And now keep in mind, most of what I know of the Italian culture comes from the great homosexual comedian Chico Marx of the Marx Brothers family. And he was Jewish, you know, not, not a real Italian. <laughs> this dead alien reminds me of the golden age of Holly, where you could stick anything up your ass and no one would ask the wiser question. As long as the <laughs> studio heads had your back. So I guess the good old days of Hollywood are back uh, all across America. <laughs> all right. So what's interesting to me about that one was um, I am. So she takes yeah, he's wanted, but the alien pokes him and it seems like for just a second. He actually turns back into proper Garfield. What the hell is in that laser beam? Oh, that's different. What the hell is that? Alright, so that is a single image that's been mirrored. And it goes across the beam in several spans. It's almost like a video clip playing out. Hmm. 
poor alien. Kaleida Garfield, yeah. Translation is, you're under arrest, please comply. Episode 2 is, soon we'll arrive at the space prison. Thank you. The alien is packing. Well, the alien was packing. <laughs> By the way, I, I think it I think it stands obvious that uh, as we're just going into this so blindly, uh, I do not endorse any of the views or opinions of <laughs> Gilbert Garfield uh, at all. So <laughs> whatever he has said or is saying, uh, I, I'm not uh, I'm not on board uh, necessarily. So crime to occur. Earth time, July 11, 1989. Gilbert and Odie will kill their owner, John Arbuckle. Arrest them at 1815. So what is this now? A space-based minority report? Being arrested for a future crime reminds me of the precogs from the Steven Spiel. Oh my god. <laughs> I was just saying. Oh, all right. By the way, Giga Gray, thanks for the bits, saying, honestly wish more shit posts, shit posts like this came out during the peak of lazy lost media, creepypasta oversaturation, middle schoolers in 2013, like I was, were scared by the most unserious shit and took it so seriously. Yeah, you know what? If people had taken it with a little more effort back in the day, it probably would have lasted longer with a bit more respect. 2002 adaptation of Minority, Minority Report, Report. <laughs> which is not about a Japanese newspaper. Of course, I know all of this because of my third eye that can see into the future and my fourth eye in my asshole. That can see the future. <laughs> I'm angry. What? <laughs> Get the Elden <laughs> shit! You gotta be kidding me! As I'm just thinking with the third eye animation, wow, this is really well crafted. What dedication to the work here. And then turning it around <laughs> by the fourth eye. Oh god. Moon Cult Live, thank you for resubscribing. As for what you just joined into, um, Another Garfield unfiction ARG property immersive type thing for Gavin Fever Dream Season that can go on the shelf already right next to Lasagna Cat in terms of levels of what the fuck and excellency in dedication and effort. No, you cannot see my fourth eye. <laughs> Technically, it would be my fifth eye if I were a cat right now. Ground veal. Ground veal. Ground veal. Ground veal. Don't do it! No! I'm an anomaly! Well, I feel like a dick. A Philip Okay, um... <laughs> So, not so much Minority Report as it is, like, Foundation stuff. Tazin says, thanks for the bits. Nick, I've already seen pics of that fifth eye on the internet. Well, good for you, okay? Jeez, I was trying to clean up a little bit and just dedicate through this whole online gig, but you know what? <sighs> Fuck it, I am who I am, alright? <laughs> Come 
coming! Moses, Moses, Moses! Pharaoh Gilbert Garfield, you've doomed the Jewish people to suffering and slavery. Being notoriously frugal, I not only enjoy free hotel shampoos, but free manual labor when building my great pyramids of geese. Had the god of Abraham's plagues not moved you? Your own firstborn is dead just this morning. <laughs> Well, the good news is Michael Jackson won't try to molest him. Oh my god. A time like this, brother? Is it not too soon? When you perceive time non-linear, there is no such thing as too soon or too late. There are only two words. Baked Z. I must go. Okay, so a lot is happening now. Arca said, is there even a point trying to comment about anything going on here? Yes, because it's still a creative enterprise. Um Let me let me go back to this. Cause this caught my eye. Free manual labor when building my great pyramids of geese. Of the god of Abraham. That was so well animated that I actually. Of the god. Of I don't know if that was lifted from somewhere, and then the touches were just made. Like this might be an actual Garfield episode that has just been edited with all these things. <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> Not the fucking live, laugh, love! This actual villain! And this probably says something too. I'm sure that somebody out there has deciphered this or attempted to. Oh, the animation is from Garfield's Nine Lives, life number two, King Cat. Gotcha. <laughs> John Arbuckle, why can't I stop seeing things? John, why can't I stop seeing things? Just poke my eyes out like your mohawk! Oh. Hey, Monday, Mr. Getty, John Arbuckle, Jack Benny, Ship your body to Abu Dhabi. Great act, what do you call it? I'm Gilbert, it's Gilbert Garfield. Yeah, I'm Gilbert. I'm Gilbert Garfield. Fado. Guys, this is a lot. <laughs> I did it. I am a demon. I can have eyes wherever I want or however many of them. Okay. Uh, all right. So now we're we're back to reality. Uh, <laughs> this Gilbert Garfield update conclusion. All right. I'll actually back out of full screen for this. So we have better perspective there is no such thing as too soon or too late there are only two words baked sea i must go it come on John <laughs> so this one says no longer thirsty for the title that Amu said I believe it says with the hieroglyphics join me in the Sun Pharaoh the cycle is beginning 
Whew, this is this is a lot of all right so just to just to stop here um this is why i love cabin fever dreams because a lot of projects are out there and uh a lot of them have great effort great ideas excellent execution but when you take that and you put it into something that is just absolutely ridiculous off the wall feels like a fever dream like you wake up and you're like i don't even know if i can get up now i think i need three more hours of sleep just to sleep off what i experienced during my sleep i i love to celebrate that because it's so whack <laughs> so yeah this this Odie says you've lost your appetite in his eyes <laughs> How are you doing, everybody? Are you holding it in there? Are you still sane? Oh, Crescent Wolf said, Fun fact, my vocal stem for months was just repeating lines from Gilbert Garfield. I am now doing it again. Thank you for bringing back my stem, sir. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, crap. It's going to happen to me, too, isn't it? I'm just gonna be going about about my day, and it'll. I'll just hear in my mind, bait ziti, <laughs> gentle catfish. Thank you. Ground veal. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm genuinely impressed. Uh, this is a lot of effort for a, a genuinely ridiculous idea, but it is so wonderful and how ridiculous it is, and absolutely leaning into the aspects of uh stuff from back in the day that was brought up earlier like uh creepy pasta about cartoons like uh squidward suicide uh, or the same thing with mickey mouse or just lost episodes where everybody is part of a coma dream let's see if there was no tuesdays <laughs> Veronetruth.com, huh? <laughs> I think I think that was Is this going to pop up? Yes. <laughs> We're back and we'll be back. Oh, no. I can't even... Alright, so it just... It just... Uh... Oh, boy. You got to be fast with this, huh? Visit our winery... Ferrone is a producer of animated pilots and sometimes full series for shows featuring famous comedians. We have an office in the idyllic Napa Valley, complete with our own winery. We also have an office in the Bologna region of Italy. Why does it keep coming back to Italians? Guest area, password. But it says, if you hover over it for the link, they cloned Gilbert and others. Wait a minute, I got an idea. Ground veal. Let's try it without the space. No. Baked ziti? Alright, yeah, let's try baked ziti. Nothing. Monday? Maybe Monday. All right. And, okay, copy of home for the winery. Frog Boat Blues. The boat is a frog, but his family left him alone on Christmas vacation. 
That smarts. Can he make his way down the Mississippi River with Jim to save Cage and Christmas? Mr. Tornado. An experimental film about a sentient tornado. And the things it is afraid of. Pizza Warriors, man. <clears throat> a show mostly for a younger audience, Pizza Warriors teaches kids about a good diet while also kicking evil butt. The Great Cat Psychiatrist. Some people have called me that at times. Dr. Mionro Purvish knows that sometimes a cigar isn't just a cigar. It's a phallic symbol. Gilbert Garfield. Beloved family comedian Gilbert Gottfried plays the role of famous lazy cat Garfield in this romp for all ages that spans history. Foot freedom. <laughs> in a world where feet are slaves, they must step up to the plate and win their freedom. Goodbye, Zeppelin. A veteran of World War II must take his newly liberated bride away from the camps and into the skies. Oyster Boy 2. Oyster Boy finally became half-human, played by Shia LaBeouf. But can he escape the Yakuza Cannibal Carnival? <laughs> the Yakuza Cannibal Carnival. <sighs> can that be the plot of the next game? <laughs> this sucks. Winona Ryder plays a cool kid ready to sell socks, but does anyone want to buy socks? Oh, Ari Bird, don't be scared. I'm right here with you. Come on now. What was up with that address in the last video? Uh, it seems that it's going to be in-universe working. So let's see this video titled Message Received. Hey, hey. what you doing? <laughs> oh, she's just playing with her pussy. <laughs> For a second. Listen. Is someone coming? Did you invite? Did you invite someone over? No! No! Huh? Don't drink that. Oh. What the hell? Hello? I'm getting the feeling that Alex Bale would unironically love this. Hey, hey. And yeah, what it, you it, doing? It, uh, it blinked What's or something as soon as the door opened. Let's see if we can catch it. <laughs> of course. Of course it's Gilbert. And yeah, it's very Marble Hornets. It's very Marble Hornets. Um, this is kind of a love letter to so much of the mixed bag of, of stuff that we've seen in our field, in our territory. <laughs> okay, on to the address. Stepdad in wine country. Okay. I, I, I don't I don't know if these record sound, but this was the address and it, it looks yeah. I, I, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, no, I guess not. Wow. 
that is very pretty for a fence and uh, a strange addition. Ashes. What? Rise from the ashes. So this is groundbreaking, first series I've ever covered, I believe, uh, in my history to include stepdad as character, or ha or as a character with a good enough relationship with a stepdad to send them for a dead drop. <laughs> they were unbaked Doritos. <laughs> yeah, the dad that stepped up. You had dad, though. Dad was dad, not stepdad. Dad was and is dad. New character unlock. Stepdad. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, stepdad in wine country. The video title sounds like a title for something else entirely. <laughs> What's dad been up to lately anyway? Uh... Boxing at the Creator Clash. I don't even know how he did. I don't even know how he did. You know what? You want to take a break real quick? You want to take a quick, quick, quick little break? Let's let's have a quickie. Uh, just a second. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Versus Abiyadi. I'm just grabbing the first news link that I saw come up. Dad calls out entire WWE and takes swipe at Logan Paul after Creator Clash victory. What his fight against AB Starkiller? Undefeated! <laughs> Listen, whatever you think about Dad, whatever you think about Nathan's body of work, you cannot say... He does not lead an amazing fucking life and goes into whatever he goes into with 110%. Complete commitment. The man is amazing. He got in bad ass shape for the first creator clash, destroyed his opponent within 30 seconds, came back, did it again. I don't think it was 30 seconds, but... uh he said in the ring, I would like to call out the entire company of the WWE. If you know me and you've been watching me for 20 years on YouTube, then you'll know the WWE sent me a signed contract twice. What? I still have that contract signed. Triple H knows me. Vince McMahon knows me. Half the roster knows me. They've been dancing around me for 10 years and I'm not waiting anymore. Holy shit, Nathan. Really? Man, fuck it. Whatever critique that I have of Nathan's work in the unfiction field, at all, I have incredible respect for this man. This, this is a father figure. Congrats, Nathan. Now that we've, now that we've checked in on Dad, now that we've seen that Nathan Barnett is still spanking ass, and apparently was sitting on a WWE contract for 10 years. My God. Then, uh, yeah, let's go back to this dead drop retrieval from a stepdad. What? <laughs> no way. Alright, so I guess they managed to open the thing. Uh, gameplay ends with a countdown that brings me back to the starting screen. 
so now we've got this, now we've got a game element. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Oh. Lives times... That must be the... That must be a year, right? Don't you say anything? Oh, Lena! Oh, Lena's here with her revenge from earlier. <laughs> Hello, Lena. Hello, dear. Hope you've had a splendid night, and that, uh, that meeting that you were gonna go to went well. Hello, hello, Raiders. You are just in time for me to, uh, try and explain what the hell is on the screen right now. <laughs> what a screen to stop on, right? Oh, So, this... <laughs> or, um... <laughs> oh, oh, jeez. Whew. Getting raided by all the ladies tonight. Damn. Hello, hello. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hey, you know I never mind the company. Yeah, there is so much happening. Uh, what you need to know is that Gilbert Garfield was apparently uh, a one-off kind of celebrity mashup project with Gilbert Garfrey, Gottfried, uh, by this company that seems to be nefarious. Yes, yes, nefarious company in an ARG project type thing. Who would have guessed? Um, and it's ha it has animation and it has a game. And it's just Garfield went back in time. Uh, Gilbert Garfield went back in time and messed up an entire timeline. And now he has almost eldritch power. Uh, it's it's a lot. Uh, he likes baked baked ziti and ground veal. Uh, so he's not about lasagna. He's about that ground veal. Um, yes, he has he has an eye in his anus. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's got a third eye and a fourth eye. Um, <laughs> and now we're gonna watch whatever's in this game. Yeah, and the dog fucks the cat, and the cat fucks the boy, and the boy fucks the dog, and it's something. gonna try the konami code <laughs> okay uh so now there's genetic codes involved okay now there's genetic codes involved um that's how your super nintendo blew up yeah so maybe gilbert is something else beyond a cartoon oh right something about cloning they clone celebrities according to the website that they use. Wonderful Owl, thank you for gifting a sub to Orum. Appreciate that. <laughs> right, currently. I do know that that is, uh, that is something that appears later.
The cloning facility! Ronald Reagan? <laughs> that was Morse code, probably. Okay. So let's try Grintly. Guess somebody did warn me about that. Oh, I gotta wait until after this ad break to address this cheer just in case they're stuck behind it. Oh no. <laughs> also, Nick, when body pill you promised? Wait a minute. What clip is this of me promising? When are we getting the four-eyed cat as a body pillow? Ooh, boy. Well, I yeah, I gotta get back on that, don't I? <laughs> so yeah, I gotta decide about how spicy I wanna make it. Uh. Wow. All the way back in the day, huh? <laughs> wow. Grazer K said, the two sides of the Nick Nocturne community, horny and extremely too invested in unfiction. You also forgot the brilliantly creative. Like that, it's kind of like a, it's, it's like a, a three, a three thing, you know, one, two, three. <laughs> So here's where I think we'll be picking things up. Is this going to be saved as a VOD slash uploaded to YouTube? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I mean, yes, this is crazy, uh, and we're not doing a lot of puzzle solving here, but this is this is completely in our bag. This is completely in it. Um, and I have too many good things to say. This is absolutely top shelf. This is exactly what we're about when it's Cabin Fever Dreams season type stuff for cabin fever dreams this is going on the channel bet your ass You know what, I got a feeling that we're just going to keep going through stuff that we'll see on the main channel. Let's hold off on this. Let's hold off on that. And just punch through. March hair plush when? I would love to do that next year. I would absolutely love to do that next year. I'd probably have to announce it in like January for people to get the plushies on time. But uh, my maker would probably be immediately down for that. And you know what? This is bugging me. The TV... The centering now is bugging me so badly. Call it what you will, but I can't deny that. I'm gonna shift this over and center that up. That's the YouTube thumbnail designer in me. Or just the designer in me in general. There we go. Okay, onward. Hold on, you know why I have to wind that back. Oh my god. 
Look at the cake. <laughs> what is it with this series and cake? It goes scary, it goes stupid. It goes scary, it goes stupid. I, <laughs> I love it. Productions was founded in 1903, but the ideas at its core have been... Alright, so before we continue with that, I just want to point out once again, you've got to give this series its, its due praise. Because they had to set up the live action stuff with the videotape. They had to go through the animations and the editing and the custom graphics for all of that stuff. They had to set up the website stuff. And they had to design that game. So already, this is a lot of multimedia stuff wrapped into one bag. All on basically a silly shitpost concept that is, that is pulling heavy, heavy weight. This is, this is comical. This is like wa watching a clown enter a gym and just crush it. <laughs> really, it is. And Giga, thanks for the bits saying. It's takes like these that remind us that if Twitch doesn't approve of the Nick Jockstrap emote from the Discord, that makes Twitch homophobic. Uh, well, Graffy, are you still out there? Are you listening, hon? <laughs> Sounds like we're going to need an update. I've seen so many ass emotes on Twitch, though. I've seen so many that it's like, if I get rejected for trying to submit that, that it's like, oh, well, what's my problem then, huh? At least in mine, I'm wearing something. Again, I'd recommend you read the descriptions for these videos for some better context on these. Yeah. And we can always do that. It's just, uh... I've been enjoying the actual sit down and watch through all of it. Oh... The uploader says, I've developed a new condition. I'm also not very good at video games. And it took them like their 50th try. Couldn't stay up, but couldn't sleep. Also, it's logging up. It's lagging up my computer. I know you can't see it, but I'd have to fiddle with the settings here. Giga Gray says, ass emotes from who, Nick? Ass emotes from who that people need to know? Well, I don't know. Why? How come JT Wusky gets to say every single stream 50 times, like, thank you for subscribing, you've got all my emotes, including my butt bark! You know? <laughs> and then I've seen it from, like, five other VTubers of emotes of their asses. There's, there's so much ass on Twitch already, there's so much cake, that the people must be allowed to eat cake. Whomever the people are. Make it a rule. <laughs> Make it a rule, alright? <laughs> All right, so yeah, as alluded to in a live action segment earlier, the uploader is experiencing effects. It's very Marble Hornets. There it is! There's one! An Among Us with the crewmate having full cheeked up. Papifu Dumpy. Orem has one too! Orem has one too, right, Raiders? Come on, Raiders. I know, I know Orem must have one, right? Stewart said, this is how you make a comedic ARG. Memorable lines, hilarious imagery. I mean, stuff like that Hugh Hefter line will stick with you and you'll remember that. You will. You will. Yeah, see? Look at this. There's all this ass in chat already from other people's emotes. You know what? I'll look through my own emotes for a second. I'll look through my own. Let's see. Let's see whose ass I've got in here. Alright, I've got shy upon emotes. I will be shocked if there's not cake in here wow there's not <laughs> mad machine or mad machine 
So much cake, what a thunk, huh? Yeah. Oh, I love this this emote from uh from Saria. Wow, I really don't have much. Huh. Back to the topic. But you know what? This was on topic. You wanna know why? Because of that, that fourth eye shot from earlier. Argos twenty five seven Z, thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. All right, back to the show. Farahoni Productions was founded in 1903, but the ideas at its core have been around for centuries. Emerging on the scene in Italy as a sponsor for Italian cyclist Rodolfo Muller during the first Tour de France, Folia del Faroni began putting on plays at the Teatro Anatomico. Their production of Uomo e Super Uomo by Giorgiano Bernardino Sia opened to rave Riff, who was friends with Francis Galton. But the enlightened former empire of Rome and the humanitarian ideal of imperial peace, Pax Romana, Pax Augusta, which, today when we team up with talented comedians, them humanity, and better. Description says, I was alerted of this video's existence by commenters and people on Twitter. I've been screen captured from the Ferone Truth website. Hmm. I never get tired of this trope of uh, the main character who was investigating something and falling deeper and deeper into obsession where they just they spend their entire days on it and late into the night and they're just playing detective, cracking things and spiraling. <laughs> and there's garbage accumulating from the things that they eat when they remember to eat and they're just diving and diving. I love that. Yeah, mark it off on your bingo cards. Protagonist gets obsessed with investigation. <laughs> I had to dig in that last line. <laughs> yeah, the the meowing. I'm not sure that was actually them. I think that was uh, a song that they were listening to, like a different take on the theme song. <laughs> Meow. Would you like that? Would you like that if I just uh, interrupted the flow of everything to deliver a bunch of meows to you? Meow. 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 <laughs> Hey, any other cats out there? <laughs> Alright. On with it. Generally, I think influence is used as a nice word for plagiarism. I'm sorry, I really have not practiced a Gottfried. <laughs> I'd have to I'd have to find where that lives in my throat. Wait, who joined the team? Odie. Okay, not human, not human cells. It's humunculus. Okay. All 
Okay, now I get it. So that's why somebody earlier said that I was close. It was not cloning. It's basically homunculi. They're making homunculi out of celebrity cells. Is that correct? Well, we'll find out soon enough, won't we? aboard the John bus. <laughs> Let's catch the video description for the last one, quick. A change in genres and a choice at the end. I'm buying more and more lactate. The reasons I can't sleep have changed, but the core is the same. No regrets. Something has to be at the end of this game. Yeah, I do want to point that out, is um, the change in visuals and just dynamics, uh, mechanics, I mean, for the game. Once again, gotta give praise. The dedication is clear, the effort is clear. A lot of work has gone into this. A lot of work. Oh, what's that? Don't touch anything. Leave your console alone. Do not touch any of your buttons. Do not touch the side or top of the device running this program. Do not breathe. Do not sniff. Do not close your eyes. This console is very fragile. Okay, and again, it's changed the format. They had so much fun with this.
Wow. Description on this past video say, from the uploader says, My HOA, Homeowners Authority, says they can get me... Homeowners Association, some people say. Says they can get me the security camera footage from the night I went missing two hours. Okay, so another trope. Main protagonist, deep investigation, experiencing side effects, is now sleepwalking. Or losing huge amounts of time. Uh oh, this level's called Monday. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's a good one. Especially, listen, if you've driven, if you've driven 95 through New Jersey, you know the one point where for some godforsaken reason, it suddenly just smells like garbage on the highway. You don't know why, but for like a good mile, it just stinks. <laughs> Nobody knows why. <laughs> it's paper mills? Really? No, 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 no. Please do not tell me that they're trying to make a literal, organic Gilbert Garfield. That sounds horrible. Oh, please, God, no. I don't want to see that. I mean, I kind of do, but mostly I don't. It's kind of like... 30. Oh, they got into the site. Description reads... The ROM file seems to delete itself when I get to this point. I had duplicated the ROM a few times at different checkpoints after the first file rewrite, and most choices don't seem to change much. In fact, for the weekend, I was only getting different cutscenes as a transition to the level. An illusion of choice. The auto-deleting made capturing difficult on my end, but I rejiggered my setup and got this. I feel like this isn't over, though. I don't know whose game I'm really playing. Here, it says, apparently the NES ROM was gradually giving us information to reach this page. Line tour. Yeah, Argos has a great point. The path open in the game was open with a wine cork, and now we're going to see wine tours. This is for rolling water. <laughs>
It's nothing like biting into a fresh from the bursting bushel of grapes. In this section of the back lot, everything looks slightly foreign, and deliberately so. This is Little Europe. Nothing like biting into a grape. Head to the commissary. Catch a show. Folks come from far and wide for a little taste of little Italy. does RK know about CV? Hmm. So, I've also got to give praise to the balancing between elements for this project and also the way that pieces were introduced early on for us to actually take note of and know that further down the line they would and could come back like the website we've had an amazing balance here we've opened with live action we had the video clips we got the website discovered we saw more live action. It got into the dead drop, so it incorporated a dead drop. There was new media on the dead drop, which was the game. We went through the game, and now we're back to such a place that we can really dig into the website and use that, and it leads into more live action video. The balancing act all around is pretty fantastic. The Saga of RK and CV, Part 1. Uploader says, I'm driving towards her now. Hopefully we learn something new. Okay. Wine tour video reveal the name of someone associated with Ferroni Productions. I'm going to leave it widescreen for now. Raphael Cossacks. <laughs> and it goes further. <laughs> hey, your little goblin online friends have been giving me shit. <laughs> oh wow, a real reaction in a in a web series from somebody who's been approached by mysterious strangers. Goblin friends to leave me the fuck alone. I'm not talking to you about Ferone, all right? It was a million fucking years ago. Stop clogging up my hotmail. Leave me the fuck alone, you freaks. When you try to get anybody over the age of 50 into uh, unfiction stuff. <laughs> I just want to say I'm sorry for, you know, blowing up on you. It's, you know, it's not me. I just, I got a little hot. I got a little heated because you were fucking, you know, blowing up my Hotmail account. I'm sitting here with a thousand messages and I'm trying to figure out which ones are, are business and which ones are spam and what folders they go. And it's a little, you know, it's a little infuriating to be honest with you. But uh, uh, I just want to say, you know, I, I'm off that Verone shit, you know. I don't even know why you're fucking talking to me, all right? I mean, not. You know, Christy was the star and all that, you know, I, I mean, I was there managing by extension, but, you know, I wasn't the one doing all 
all the shit. So I, if you want to talk to her, talk to her, you know. Uh, the problem with now still plays Second Life with her, so, you know, I have her, her, her username here. It's, um, you can, you can hit her up at, uh, you can don't even tell me. But the, but the S's are five. Oh my god. You're fucking kidding. You're fucking kidding. No. <laughs> no way. Fucking second life. This just got so much better. I haven't talked to Raphael since the 80s. He ghosted me, you know. Yeah, it's... Awkward history. Um... This may sound crazy, but I'm not sure I want to talk online about that. Would you be willing to meet me in person and keep me anonymous? I think it's time I talk. How do you want me to sit? Anything? That's great. We're rolling. Hey, um... After meeting with Chrissy in person, I had her come to my apartment and shot this interview with help from my cousin Samantha, who has a nice camera. Please excuse the mess. Oh, orange dumbbells? So, in the 80s, I performed lewd entertainment under the street name Chrissy Vaginas. <laughs> 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 Just what do you think? They can't get more fucking ridiculous. <laughs> the way it cuts off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, like, like porn or film, you could say. Um, most people only have a vague recollection of me anyways um and i think that was pretty deliberate what do you mean by that <sighs> well okay so i was based in san bernardino i was in over 80 films in, in two years skeleton boner man ninja tom uh Chrissy goes vaginas Chrissy goes vaginas 2 ninja tom 6 Slicing the Princes of Sin. Not that any of that matters, because you can't find any of my movies, uh, not on Pornhub, or RedTube, or X Videos, or XNXX, or X Hamster, or E Fucked. Um, you can't find them on any forums, or not safe for work subreddits. Or why is that? Not even the deep web. Okay, I understand, but why? Why? Not even on motherless.com. Yeah. Nowhere. I'm nowhere to be found. I understand, <laughs> but why? So, let me go back a little bit. It was late 88. Rafi came to me and he said. And that's Rafael Cosines? Yeah. He said he had this amazing new job. Um, it was with a new company that was just breaking into the adult film industry. This is Ferrone? Yeah, I think it was Italian. Um, and it was had nothing to do with cartoons? No, this was straight um, live action pornography. Not animation, pornography. So... <coughs> Did you need water or something? It was a three-day Gonzo Candid Fuck Fest of filming. Did they let you take breaks? We had like one break a day. Um, it wasn't so bad back then. I think people nowadays are 
so sensitive. They, they always want to take breaks. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I fucked so many men, you know, of all ages. Some of them were definitely famous, too. Like famous porn stars, like Ron Jeremy or something? Am I totally anonymous right now? No, no, we got you. Uh, we're gonna be using the mosaic filter from... My voice, too? Yeah. Okay. Just like in the Second Life interview. Okay. So, one of them was Newt Gingrich. Um, it was way before he was famous. What do you mean, like the Paul Vision in California? Yeah, it was him. I remember when I, after the fact, I saw him on the news. My jaw hit the floor. I couldn't believe it. Like, I fucked him. The guy who left his, his dying wife for a new bitch. <laughs> I mean, a lot of them were politicians. But I knew, I mean, I'll never forget his disgusting birthmarks. I mean, all of them had birthmarks, but his were just the most, most vile. Okay, so we're supposed to do this face writing scene, right? I go to jump on his head, and he's telling me, Honey, don't worry. I can hold my breath for over 15 minutes. And then the producers start shushing him. And then for any ones, um, filming ended and I, I tried to reach back out to Rafi and he wasn't picking up the phone. It, it was so weird. We just had our highest paying gig yet and he was nowhere to be found. After that, I stopped getting contract offers and features and, and cameos, nothing. My line was dry. I, I wasn't getting anything anymore. Well, okay, so I should say that at the time, I was addicted to cocaine. Rafi, he would feed me bumps like I was on a powder-only diet. After he left, I was forced to go cold turkey. It was a blessing because um, I was able to quit that and... I decided not to get another manager after him because he left porn. I I somewhat left porn, and then I found out I was pregnant. And later the next summer, I gave birth to a, a beautiful, amazing, perfect baby boy. Who was the father? I don't know. I mean, I was known as the queen of cream pies or <laughs> the cream pie. I had so much in me all the time. It could be <laughs> you'll never know. <laughs> and then Ferone took him. I knew it was them. I recognized the men that came into my house that night. They're the people who said, don't talk about him being able to hold his breath during face writing? Yep, it was the same people at the Gonzo Tended Film Fest of filming that told Newt, stop talking about holding your breath so much. It was the same people. They stole my baby. So this is a cartoon that Faraone makes. Do you know anything about this? No, I don't know any anything about this TV show. He sounds familiar. Is that Gilbert Gott Gottfried? Is he that Jewish stand-up comedian? Yeah, no, I fucked him too. Wait, when? During the... Yeah, yeah. It's all a blur, but I, I definitely fucked him right under the hot lights. Of the Ferrone production? Yeah. Uh, super weird birthmarks. Um, but, you know, he doesn't yell as much in person. Wait! I'm sorry. What? What was that date? July 11th? 1989? That's when my baby was born. Okay, um, so first order of business. Bright Page, thank you for resubscribing. Um, Tassin, thank you for the cheer. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, yeah. The, uh, yeah, um, the baby was taken by Ferone for, uh, 
Cassifel, thank you for the gift sub. Um, <laughs> thank you, Giga. I have a question for God. Why? <clears throat> So they took the kid, uh, they took the kid, which was probably Gilbert Godfrey's kid, or at least she was, she was getting it on with so many prominent people that it seems that they wanted to hold on and harvest DNA for their sick experiments. Um, okay, here's the HOA footage. We'll check the description after this. Hey, Cassifel, thank you for the gift subs. This shit got wild, dude. This this got so wild. This is so far beyond any expectations you have coming in. It's wonderful. Ah, uh, I sincerely hope he's being weird slash playful, says the video description. But the video he sent is, I don't know, scarier than the things we've seen before, in my opinion. Triggering. Oh my god, did they give us a trigger warning ahead of time? Really? Um. Can I even get away with watching this? Description reads... Austin sending me this after the public discovery of Christy Vaginas was very off-putting and very edgy even for him. I'm not sure what his goals are. He hasn't responded to me asking what he wants. I wish I could contact him. It's all censored and blacked out. Okay. Cool. You're all saying who've watched it. It's fine. All right. birthday to you happy birthday dear happy birthday I'm sorry what oh okay happy birthday to you I heard that this baby was born via the C-section, which is short for Caesarean. And now many people think this is named after Cesar Romero. Uh... And he would bend over and have these, uh, uh, boy toys throw orange slices directly into his ass. And they call this the cutting room floor. <laughs> 
where they also left half the scenes in the previous uh, right, so now, when you celebrate birth, the family can focus on blowing out the candles instead of blowing out the vagina. <laughs> um uh <laughs> okay censored as it was oh taz and cheering saying and it's called the aristocrats ah oh. tyler saying i i stayed up late for this <laughs> yeah Can we? Can we make it? Can we make it? It's 24.38, but there's not a lot of time left in it. Like, literal time. So... Ah, uh, well... I guess we'll take a moment during the rest of this ad break to, uh... I'll say some nice things to you all. How about that? Would you like me to say some nice things? Go ahead, give me some nice things to say to you. Cherry Quill, thank you for subscribing to the Prime. Can you get a grim tale after the stream? Of course you can. I'm so proud of you, Ryuji. Baked ZD. Oh, sweet Billiam, you are good enough, smart enough. And gosh darn it, people like you. Argos, that would be a crime. Don't you dare. That's a good one for Emily. I hope everyone is having a nice day or night. You are wonderful and I like you just the way you are. You're doing great, kiddo. Good job. I'm proud of you. Ground veal. <laughs> Crystal, honey, you do whatever it is that you need to do to improve your quality of life and allow you to pursue new things in it and keep growing. Good job, ghosty. I'm only mildly disappointed in you. <laughs> I want that twink obliterated. <laughs> okay. Whew. Shall we go on? <laughs> After that, what the fuckage? Speaking with Dion. Alright. Yeah, let's keep it wide. Hey, yo, Dion. Thanks for meeting me, man. Good to see you. Yeah, dude, it's been a long freaking time. Yeah, can I shake your hand? <laughs> COVID, right? Word. It's our army. This is a shit blurring job, for real. <laughs> you know if he's okay? I mean, like, I think so. He was always wearing long sleeves, and I worried maybe he might be cutting himself. Or... Why don't I just take you to the house, and I'll show you his stuff, his room. I haven't seen him since around spring break.
Yeah, this is his room. He left a fucking mess, as usual. What the hell's that? I don't know, I think he was working on a cartoon or a script or something. Uh, okay, hold up a second. Oh, I'm having too many things pop up in chat that I need to read. Uh, Casafel highlighted said, Get off your ass and read House of Leaves. You've been putting it off for a year. Yeah, you. I know who you are in the audience. So read it. You bought it, it's on your desk. Also, drink some water for those dry ass lips. No, don't lick them now. Dry lip, have an ass. <laughs> And Argos said, Nick, to avoid confusion, Argos and I wish you to know Argos' name is pronounced like VV Argos from the Secret Saturdays. Well, guess what I never fucking watched? Great reference point for me. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but Nick, the book is under a Naruto manga. Well, guess what the greater art piece is? Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Lift the trash anime up and pick up the legacy novel. What's up? You, you remember all the stupid little movies you guys used to make on this? Yeah, that's all campy. Oh, fuck. You mind if I take this, Leon? Go for it. You just don't have any lactate in the house, do you? No, do you? Do you have diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Obviously, something is wrong with this dude. He was adopted, probably from wherever Faron comes from or whatever they were making and he is an anomaly all to himself that is now breaking technology and uh giving off like slender man kind of radiation oh do you remember the sigma radiation from everyone hybrid that kind of thing which is now uh giving this is the main character diarrhea or something uh, and, and ruining their equipment. So once again, we have a cool little hit of a trope of uh... <laughs> Hey, found camera. Another character losing their mind, found camera footage. No, I've never played Diablo. Why are you touching that without gloves? Ah. Uh. <laughs> fucking spaghettios? <laughs> Why would you do this to a camera? Come on. This is horrible. Yeah. 
Yeah, Cassie's right, by the way. Okay, description reads, after multiple technical issues getting the stupid HD camera to work, decide on a workaround to show the footage, I'm starting to believe there's a whistleblower working as an employee at Ferrone who's instigating the whole project. Finding Christy, September 3rd. Hey. How you doing, Christy? Hey, how's nice to meet you? That's really my stage game, by the way. Well, oh, I know, I know. I, I just figured you wanted to remain anonymous. <clears throat> so, I was thinking, I don't really want to film this here. What do you mean? Uh, I just, I don't want them to find me. So, you think we could go somewhere else? Uh, I think that- So you uploaded the footage anyway? Come on, dude. Come on. Christy Vaginas was counting on you. You just hung her out to dry. 
That's completely reasonable, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to drive so long. No, it's okay. How about we do my place? Yeah. No, he's getting diarrhea. This is where we <laughs> I hope she fled out of fear. I don't want to think that they found her. There you go. That's the video. That's the video, everybody. And that's that's what happened to Chrissy Vaginas. Okay? She uh she left. She left. Uh she fled. An update. We're a dead end. I don't know. Really hoping Austin hasn't been supporting some Italian ethno state secret society this whole time? Listen, Gilbert Garfield creators, I love you, but you're making it so hard to keep watching what you made in any capacity <laughs> in a public format. I gotta edit this to shit when it goes up on YouTube. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm on Twitch right now, because at least Twitch is understanding. This planet is short, and despite mixed up relationships and feelings, Greg, you were still a father and friend. Your son is sorry for times he wasn't the best son he could be, and forgives you for not being the best dad. This is real life Peter Griffin saying much love in heaven. You die doing what you loved, looking into fringe political conspiracies like Gilbert Garfield. Isn't Gilbert Garfield the alpha version of Metal Gear Solid? I feel like we got an old demo disc back in 1996. Anyway, much love to Greg and his family. Uh, right. Greg Truth. Um, Greg Truth is a secondary channel to deal with all of this. Uh, damn it. Ah, uh, damn it, second channels. Uh, hold on. Okay, it's short. It's mercifully short. Um, alright. Greg Truth was a huge fan of Family Guy, hence in real life Peter Griffin eulogizing. Oh, the character had a website where they focused on Ferrone and had a Family Guy fan art section too. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's get into this then. Oh my god. Oh, do, re do you all- I was just talking about this the other day to somebody. Do you remember all the, um, all the stupid YouTube videos back in the day where it was supposed to be a tutorial, but the person had no microphone, so it was like a, a, a shitty free screen recorder and they just open notepad and type to you? <laughs> that was a time.
Cassie, don't horrify me by saying shit like that, okay? There are a few things that actually scare me now. Kidding me. Oh, and there's more. Welcome to LA. I'll take one cheeseburger. I wanna see how you do it out, out here in LA. Oh, oh, two burger. Oh, I love LA. Oh, okay. This is my first time in LA, and I'm looking for uh Corone. It's a it's a production studio. Production studio, but I, I don't see a lot of cameras around or Cartoons. Uh, right, right, but where do you keep the cartoons? Los Angeles, right? This is where they make family guys. Yeah, that's our that's our location, but we're a bowling center. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you, brother. No problem. I mean, I wish I could help more. Yeah, yeah. Actually, do you have a pay phone? I, I don't want to use my hotline minutes. Uh, howdy there, son. It's, it's me. It's your pop. Listen, I'm, I actually happen to be in the area. I, I got an extra burger here. Uh, well, son, uh, just give me a call back on the hotline number and, um, yeah. Can you stop with the copyright music, please? <laughs> Like that. That's quite all right there, brother. I mean, at least you picked up the phone when it rained. A lot of people these days don't seem to do that. They make all kinds of crap, you know, kids' cartoons with Satan in them and shit like that. You know? Oh, yeah, no. Sick shit in the kids' cartoons. Who's in charge oh, of that? Or who's sending you here? No, no, no. Nobody, nobody sends me anyone. Hello, Queen Snow. You know, I'm on my own accord. I'm, nobody has this dog on a leash. Oh, well, what's the person's name? Uh, well, it would probably be under a name like, uh, Ferrari or Romano. Oh, not too sure. You're not, oh, you're not too sure, oh. Uh... Hey there, how you doing tonight, sweetheart? Uh, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a production studio, and everyone in this town doesn't seem to want to help me. They're a little Italian outfit. This, this is their website. All kinds of these satanic crap. You seem like a well-traveled gal, you know, so maybe, you, maybe you've seen some guys coming in here with, uh, you know, pizza stains on their, on their track suits, using a, using a toothpick. Anybody like that come in here? Huh? Oh, wait a minute, I recognize that one. Like a masochist in Newport, where would I land back? <laughs> Okay, but playing Road to Rhode Island music while he's traveling in LA on an investigation is really appropriate. <laughs> seriously, stop fucking putting it in my face. I'll like, put seriously. my camera wherever I damn well please. That doesn't mean anything. You're on private property. Yeah, you're it's easy. Yeah, you know what that spell? Do you want to come in and sit down or do you want to leave? Well, what do you want to do? Oh, what? So you can have the cops come by? Seriously. Yeah, what don't you, dude? Yeah, what? Ah, uh, this dude. That burger must be so cold right now, Greg Truth. Come on. Of 
Crystal, I'm sorry, but I, I'm not sure if I possess um, Seth MacFarlane levels of pipes. I'd have to really work for that. <laughs> Just leave the burger at the door. <laughs> Yeah, the eulogy addressed there were awkward feelings between father and son. We wouldn't need that, though, in order to uh, understand this. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? What is this? Rose from Twitter said she had Cossack's internet numbers. Damn it, Rose, you sent me to the wrong house. Ah. Oh. Uh. Yesterday at 7 15 p.m. Hey, Greg. Good, good, good work out there. Love what you're doing. Find the damn truth. End of message. To delete this message, press 7. Just message deleted. Next message. Hey, Greg. What's up, man? Um, uh, I'm not anything about Gilbert or Thrill. Okay, we'll wait for people. We'll wait for people. Like a masochist in Newport, where Rhode Island bound. That is a clever joke. <laughs> Rebecca is not here, says immediately after this video, Greg Truth died by being ran over by his own car due to him cutting the brakes. The other videos are uploaded by someone else, presumably Grintly, as they were also uploaded there. Okay. Those voice messages are real, by the way. I believe this site had his phone up on it. That's cool. All right, back to it. Good, good work out there. Love what you're doing. Find the damn truth. End of message. To delete this message, press seven. Just message deleted. Next message. Hey, Greg. What's up, man? Um, uh, I'm not anything about. Why are all the Garfield ARGs unhinged? Because somebody had to make it entertaining after all these years. Rolling a woo, thank you for subscribing. Gilbert or Road, but uh, I hope you find weeds. Message deleted. Hi, Greg. This is good. This is uh, Jerry. I'm trying to contact you about the info you have about Farone. Message deleted. Hello, Mr. Greg Truth. I'm uh, an watcher of. Message deleted. Hey. Greg, I was wondering if you had any more info on the uh, Gilbert God message deleted. Hi, Greg, I'm one of your biggest fans. You're so cool. And all your investigations are very, very, very. Message deleted. Hello? Hello? Message deleted. I was wondering if I could uh, get a little more insight on that whole Ferrone. Message deleted. Hey Greg, it's me. Uh, we were just texting about the script you're showing me. Have you found any leads? You seem to be really obsessed with this car mechanic and him fucking up your really, really old car. That is a beast, by the way. No, no offense to your car. Message deleted. Hi Greg, just checking in on you. Love you. Bye. <laughs> okay, Greg, I get it. Look who's at McDonald's. It's Garfield Days at McDonald's. Now when you get your kids McDonald's, you'll get one of four exclusive Garfield push toys. So hurry. Cake and picnic panic. Okay. 
So that's probably some ARG type stuff for clues. Would be perfect, you could tell that at a glance. Unless, of course, we ran into. I'm just taking stock of myself as a doctor because I do feel like I'm really just getting started. Okay, so that was like a self-confess, right? Sing along to song. Huh. And that's Greg Truth. Okay, so it looks like Grintley was the connection to Greg Truth. At least one of the connections to Greg Truth for people to find Greg Truth. And Greg Truth went uh, looking around. And it seems that Ferone is still active enough to be messing with people who are looking into them. Did we see the quick picture of Lois's boobs? Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, this will work for now. Eighteen naked cat boys in the showers at Ram Ranch. Oh, okay, you just made it so much better. Don't you dare. Don't you dare bring Hideo into this now. This doesn't need to be more complicated. Don't do it. <laughs> and yeah, Ferone being, uh, meaning Pharaoh. Yeah, that's been brought up a couple of times. That's it. That's it. The full development of Silent Hills is under lock and key at Ferone. We solved it. <laughs> All right, next one. Ah, yes, the dark night of the soul. And then we make a breakthrough. Hello? Hello? 
What the fuck was that? I fucking saw you. I swear to fucking god that I fucking saw. <laughs> Shit. What the? Hello? I saw you, man. Hey, uh, hey, Dion, what's up? Hey, Max, this is, uh, this is Max. Get some shitty news, man. Uh, got some shitty news. Um, you know, we've, uh, we've been talking about Austin a lot. Yeah, sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. And Taz said, no, that can't be the next commission. That's 18. That's 18. That's, that's, that's way too much. Okay. Previous video description said, Grintley posted something on TikTok. I could post that video here if I can rip it. If people are interested, I'm starting to believe some theories. Somebody link his countdown. Giga Gray said, don't call Gilbert Garfield a 3 a.m. prank. Gone sexual, not clickbait. Cops were called. <laughs> it's gonna get worse. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we're officially on video 30 out of 38. Uh, do we have the time? We've got the time. An onion URL on the dark web? Wow. The, you really, really went deep here. A PGP key. It's final message, 5th of November. I sign every time I am alive. They want dead. Oh, this is this is a lot of wow. Just like this. Talk about taking it somewhere new. And yeah, it's uh, his friend. His friend is dead. His friend is dead. Um, Measurements like this since they've been in business. See, by measuring around you, it doesn't matter who you are, unless you're born with deformity or had some kind of operation. <laughs> hmm. Okay, what fresh hell is this? First the centuries past, the millennia flowing. I sat up there upon my cosmic throne of Parmesan Stardust, pondering the universe I had left behind. With unlimited free time, I started watching The Love Boat. And uh, The Love Boat was one of those shows that everybody watched, but nobody ever really liked it. I never understood it. 
The boats never had sex with each other. <laughs> even have big boobs. You don't need big boobs oh. to be feminine. Look at Liberace. Charlene Rivers. I've spent eons watching the love boat on me TV. Well. <laughs> single time. The last two minutes get cut off. The entire species have come and gone. And I still don't know how any Love Boat episodes end. I know how the universe ends, but not the fucking Love Boat. <laughs> the years are flying by. Do you, do you think you're any older? It's time, isn't it? The outfit, please. I went to buy sexy underwear and they automatically gift wrapped it. Thank you. Completely oh. ensemble. I put, I'm wearing the same underwear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me prepare with yoga. <laughs> to the ship, to the sky, marinara. Excuse me? What? No. Measurements like this since they've been in business. To the ship, to the sky, marinara. He, he was the alien? He was the alien? <laughs> Come on. The countdown ended. My internet is slow as fuck right now. Everything been weird since Austin died. Just woke up uploading this clip found on Grintley's countdown site. Can barely think. Private video. Austin's apology. Comment section, save us, please. There's a video hidden in my channel uploaded by someone else, like the No Longer Thirsty video. Okay, the Thirsty Mob says, Thanks to Zach for his framework and getting me started on a translation slash clarification. Zach's now unable to edit his original post for some reason, so I'm creating a new post with my interpretation and a link to my pitch shifted video I'm working on captions for. Okay. Alright, we've got it. I'll read it out for you. I know it's cut off here. Did you ever notice that I always wore gloves when we played GameCube? I had to. Electrical hazard symbol showing. We couldn't just shank those bitches at Ferone after what they did to us. Or we could have just sank those bitches at Ferone after what we after we did what they asked. Um you gave them pageantry. You gave the puzzles. I am those bitches at Ferone. The Google key got me out when I was on the edge of not being awakened. I stupidly then got back in. I had to. Gave the puzzles. I was their little Austin August Augustus. I swear there's a second audio track overlaid over this that says puzzles that were for Austin August Augustus. I was their special boy. I was their Pax Romana. The peaceful era in Roman history. The follow is a symbol of our own fears. I had to. Next bit is garbled. 
codes to people as the Konami code scrolls by. The edge was the tip of the iceberg. The rest went to people that mattered as the water symbol is showing. Thanks and sorry. Stones our mirror that was now black ash. The Visigoths have encroached. The trains don't run on time anymore. They've stopped running. Walk the rest of the way, Max. I'll see you there. Then uh, the thirsty mob says, I did some rudimentary editing and pitch shifted, then boosted treble, and it makes it less of a headache to listen to. Okay. So this video is a mess. Oh, sorry. This video is a mess to listen to. Oof. Yeah, the game. July gives birth to August. Hmm. Onward. Something inside him. Thought I couldn't afford to go to the address in the private video's description. Turns out he wanted me to go. Rebecca's not here saying, Ferrone is an Italian fascist company trying to remake Mussolini's regime. I can see it, but... Okay, and Mystic the Manichaeus says, slight gore warning. We've, we've already been through so much. But I appreciate it nonetheless. Our sun glimmers, saying good, gonna head off for the night. Hope y'all have a good evening slash night. Also to Bubbly, see you later, nerd. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. You have a good night and sleep tight. Oh. Once again, where are your gloves, you idiots? Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> Come on! Sorry, Max. No more games. Sorry, PB. No more jelly. Sorry, G, for broken locks. I don't know how it ends, but I hope this little piece of me can live forever inside you. Bye! <laughs> Just had to slide in one more bit of humor, right? Test tubes. Yeah, I hear you, Stuart. I've, uh, I've got the same feeling about this. Well, plane tickets. Description says, edited this while on the road. Plane ticket didn't take me all the way there. Didn't know all the goddamn driving I'd have to do in this British rental car I picked up. Sleeping at gas stations, but not really sleeping. Staying up. Just so everyone knows, my old phone was busted. Compromised, maybe. Did get a burner before the trip. Don't worry, I think I'm going tomorrow. 
Ah, for all of you who are still here, you are champions. You truly are the champions. Watching some fucked up shit on a Sunday night. <laughs> Watching Gilbert Garfield on a Sunday night. Y'all are gonna have some fucked dreams tonight. <laughs> okay. Nine days ago, packing. Yes, packing, packing. Unless you're gonna show us what you're packing, I don't care about all this. This is B-roll. Okay, that's impressive. And yeah, as for this, uh... Well... Wait, what? Aww... Yeah, he, uh, he uses this. He uses this to, to make sure he's got, uh, what he needs for the flight. <laughs> the whole time! Yeah. It was me! Yes. Mr. Armstead President! I see. Can he... Baker! Impossible. I've always wondered what arms tech is. What do you mean? The only arms tech I have is the skill of palpating my prostate. That would be nice. While stimulating the main vein. That's funny. In other words, cranking my barbed cannelloni cat cock. What's your point? People die all the time. The best parts of wars are all those main innocents. That's what shush. I... Shush! Then... Shush! Listen. Shut up! Sh Is that... Shut up! I know it sounds strange. Shut the fuck up! What Shut the... the fuck up! Okay. Just... Shh! Shut up! What am I... Shut the fuck up! I don't know. Shut the fuck up, snake! Anyway, like the song goes, I'll never see you again, and I'll hide out where no one can find me in the beautiful racist country of... You can say that again. I'm choking the snake instead of the chicken. <laughs> Fuck is this series? <sighs> oh god, and there's fucking code in the description. Description translates to lasagna nearing completion. <sighs> you know what? There are a few moments in this life I ever want to be this streamer. But I'll tell you this. You want me to read that line? I'm going to shake you down for it. Make it worth my while. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. You want to hear it? Name a price, cowboy. Let's see. 666 bits. Because that is an unholy line. <laughs> Weirder 3, thank you for subbing. Okay, well, that was, that was no time at all. Maybe. Let me find it. In other words, cranking my barbed cannoli cat cock. <laughs> oh, believe me, he probably clipped it. Uh. 
Gilbert Garfield, as a character, is meant to represent the comedic observations that bring us together. Seeing footage and merchandise reimagined for a new audience has been lovely for all of us. Okay, yeah. So it's like Max is not in control anymore. Yep. We are always canon. We are always a product. We are always your continuity. The magic number will let you all enjoy Europe. Yeah, it's for real merch they made. I, I, I knew it immediately. Uh, Kazzy said, Nick, I'll remind you bits are about a cent a bit. You sold yourself for six bucks and change. I hope you're proud. Listen. I love to please. <laughs> Faraone si è dedicata all'intrattenimento che unisce le comunità attraverso il consumo. L'intrattenimento è una lingua, e le lingue fanno una società. Lasciamo che Faraone diventi la lingua franca dei nostri tempi. Siamo sempre stati lungimiranti. Faraone riguarda le possibilità. Pax Augusta. Our Netro resubscribing, thank you. Saying the title, excuse me? Uh, the title on this video is Upturn. Numero magico che culmina in 10.000. Proprio come il gatto è stato allevato per l'intimità e la compagnia, noi siamo un'organizzazione in continua evoluzione per scoprire i veri misteri dell'Europa. Oh boy. Okay. Anyhow, yeah, there was there was probably a bunch of lore in Italian that more or less confirms what we already know. Uh, especially stuff that has been brought up by those who have dug deeper already, having watched this through in the chat. Oh no. Thanks for joining Max as he explores the roots of an almost forgotten piece of media, Gilbert Garfield and Friends by Ferone Productions. Hopefully you enjoyed the journey because... And then it trails off. Okay. 13 minutes, 42 seconds. And like every big crazy Garfield unfiction ARG type thing, it is a it is a long ass finale compared to everything that came before. Please, please don't let this get us in trouble. Morbid Corbid, thank you. All right, in we go.
just egg you. Hi there, uh, this is a beautiful. Please, I turn on the light for you, but my hands just aren't what they used to be. But at least I'm not jacking anybody <laughs> off anymore. <laughs> 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 How was the treat? It was fun. Any complimentary cheese? <laughs> you can take a seat, but I don't know if they'll fit. It's like three midgets came here and they're a family, and they said they have an act to show me. Ah. <laughs> this is life. If you're something second hand, here's a phenomenon known as planned obsolescence which encourages the consumer to buy more and more the same product as they release new versions. If you had one ping pong table that worked forever, why would you need, buy why yeah. would you need ping pong 3.0? So the pings pong quicker. <laughs> I outlived my original, but I don't think about it much. My holes have been hurting, self-inflicted and otherwise. We're both wearing diapers, aren't we, Max? But you didn't have eyeballs yet to carve out of your stupid fucking ass. No. I'm sure you got so many questions. I just don't. Don't I look like the Invisible Man? Claude Rains? Yes, so. Vincent Price? Which one? We all pay the price when it rains. The family reunions were all cut short, and nobody's horny uncle was invited to even with. What does that mean? Who are me? Who am I? Who are you? And that's my daytime Emmy, I would have won. <laughs> if it was really me. <laughs> look like an Emmy for sure. I didn't know if there's a happy ending. Happy on Susu. Well, can, you, can you tell me who you are? Who are you really? I'm glad you're here. <coughs> I'm glad I'm here. Who sees what I've asked you to do for myself? I couldn't stop seeing you still believe and admit.
Okay, that's, uh, yeah, let's, uh, you know what, this ad's gonna hit us no matter what, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna run it now to, to make sure it's out the way so we're not interrupted for the Grim Tale and talk. Maximus, thanks for subbing. And Griff Ranshire, thank you for subbing. First month was a gift, but after the hilarious madness that was this night, I gotta keep this going. Thank you for guiding us through this bizarre journey. Thank you. All right, everybody, stick around for the grim tale and uh, the review of what we just went through. Let me, in the meantime, try to... Uh... That feels better. <laughs> Ah, I should have been doing this right along, huh? Whew. Um. Right. So. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. That was... That was delightful. Um. What a series. What a series. So, for Rowanae, I think... Yeah, a, a lot of it was hinted at, um, it was more explicitly stated in the chat here, is that um, they're trying to revive the old fascist Italian regime, which is insane. Blob Man 424, thank you for subscribing. Um, Ghosty Pepper Stream says, The gist is that Ferrone is doing very unethical experiments with celebrities in order to enhance their film business and possibly other political affairs. Gilbert Garfield is real and Ferrone has taken over the archive channel by this present moment. Yeah. I was going to say, it's, it's very evident that what they are doing is creating genetic experiments using the DNA of celebrities and that they were using Christy Vaginas in order to um, harvest in a lot of moments. And... The, the one time that she had a pregnancy that was carried to term, it it seems to be Gilbert's. So they took the baby, and what they've been doing ever since with their experiments is producing new models. That's what the Gilbert Garfield voice actor in that room was talking about. Planned obsolescence. Except it's probably not so much planned obsolescence by Ferrone as it is these are messed up creatures and they should not exist they are the things that should they are things that should not be uh so when their time is up a new one has already been grown to replace them and that's how they keep making these these projects these weird crazy knockoff projects that no celebrity would sign up for because it's a way to accumulate power by pumping out media and it's it's very very strange and messed up. It's like 
Umbrella Corporation mixed with something else. Uh, and yes, the Gilbert was implied to be from a previous cycle. Somebody who hung on after the fact. And yeah, as somebody said, big, big um, props to the creator for actually flying out to Italy, it seems, to film that final sequence. Argus says, just wait until you see the soccer cat anime. It confirms and denies so much about the series lore. No, I haven't seen the soccer cat anime yet. I haven't looked into any of this beyond Gilbert Garfield. So, <laughs> that was... That was... That was a... <laughs> it was phenomenal. I want to say a phenomenal mess, but it's like, it's not even right to call that a mess because that was so organized. It was, it was fantastic. We're going to do another round of this sometime in the next week. No. <laughs> no. 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 If I give you another, <laughs> another Cabin Fever Dreams dive this month, it's going to be on something significantly less fucked up than this was. Arco says, thank you. Uh, this was an amazing stream, Nick. Thank you. Your homework for tonight is to give us an I'm an anomaly sound redeemed to immortalize this madhouse of a stream. Also, go watch Secret Saturdays, you goof. It's about cryptids. Wherever, if it's on a, if it's somewhere I can stream it that I'm already paying for, I'll watch it, okay? God, I already have such a long list of crap that I need to watch. <laughs> Not that it's crap, but it's like, it never ends. Have you seen this? Oh, are you, you I just watched this. Have you seen this? I haven't watched Stranger Things Season 4. I haven't watched a single friggin' episode. I haven't watched anything that's come out on Netflix over a year now, okay? Wednesday Adams is hanging out waiting for me. <laughs> I still haven't get, gotten to that. Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I have the game. I haven't. I haven't played it recently. I haven't watched Edge Runners. I have so much shit I still need to watch. On top of doing Night Mind, okay. Crystal says this was one heck of a wild one. Lol. Gotta be up early to finish paperwork, so I'm gonna bounce. But thank you for the ridiculousness and the encouragement. Sleep tight, Nick. Thank you. Sleep tight. So, this was fantastic. Um. Praise across the board. Praise across the board. In all the parody aspects and homage to unfiction and the kind of stuff that we've seen before. Oh, you're welcome, DJX. Glad to help you. Um, this was this was fantastic. So let me. Let me I'm, I might not even make a poll. I think I'm just gonna look for a story quick. And if the right thing jumps out at me and it's short enough, I'll read it. Because I gotta I gotta eat, me and Graffy gotta eat, and we gotta get to our leg day. Rebecca's not here, said some more context. This whole thing was made by Max Simonette or Simonette. Simon A? Creator of multiple adult swim shows such as Gemisetto and Tender Touches. Oh, the former having a lot of similarities as well as being a host of streams like Fish Center and Blood Feast. Okay, well, I've never given a shit about Fish Center. That was... <laughs> come on, that was just too boring to, to entertain. But the rest of that I have heard of. And yes, there was definite Adult Swim vibes throughout that. Yeah, Stuart, it's amazing how much media and life that you get to miss out on once you actually start covering it, right? <laughs> People don't understand. They, they truly don't. Oh, this one sounds cute. And you all are going to love it for the shipping uh, ideas. Cat and Mouse in Partnership. Let me flip to it. Okay. Cat and Mouse in Partnership by the Brothers Grimm. A certain cat had made the acquaintance of a mouse and had said so much to her about the great love and friendship she felt for her that at length the mouse agreed that they should live and keep house together. But we must make a provision for winter, or else we shall suffer from hunger, said the cat. And you, little mouse, cannot venture everywhere, or you'll be caught in a trap some day. The good advice was followed, and a pot of fat was brought. 
but they did not know where to put him. At length, after much consideration, the cat said, I know no place where it will be better stored up than in the church, for no one dares take anything from there. We will set it beneath the altar and not touch it until we are really in need of it. So the pot was placed in safety, but it was not long before the cat had a great yearning for it and said to the mouse, I want to tell you something, little mouse. My cousin has brought a little son into the world and has asked me to be godmother. He is white with brown spots, and I am to hold him over the front at the christening. <laughs> and I am to hold him over the font at the christening. Let me go out today, and you look after the house by yourself. Yes, yes, answered the mouse. By all means, go. And if you get anything very good, think of me. I should like a drop of sweet, of sweet red christening wine, too. All this, however, was untrue. The cat had no cousin and had not been asked to be godmother. She went straight to the church, stole to the pot of fat, began to lick at it, and licked the top off the fat. Then she took a walk upon the roofs of the town, looked out for opportunities, and then stretched herself in the sun, and licked her lips whenever she thought of the pot of fat, and not until it was evening did she return home. "'Well, here you are again,' said the mouse. "'No doubt you have had a merry day.' "'All went off well,' answered the cat. "'What name did they give the child?' "'Top off!' said the cat quite coolly. "'Top off!' cried the mouse. "'That is a very odd and uncommon name. "'Is it a usual one in your family?' "'What does it signify?' said the cat. "'It is no worse than crumb-stealer, as your godchildren are called.' Before long, the cat was seized by another fit of longing. She said to the mouse, You must do me a favor and once more manage the house for a day alone. I am again asked to be godmother, and as the child has a white ring around its neck, I cannot refuse. The good mouse consented, but the cat crept behind the town walls to the church and devoured half the pot of fat. Nothing ever seems so good as what one keeps to oneself, said she, and was quite satisfied with her day's work. When she went home, the mouse inquired, And what was this child christened? Half done, answered the cat. Half done? What are you saying? I never heard the name in my life. I'll wager anything it is not in the calendar. The cat's mouth soon began to water for some more licking. Tazin is going to clip that line. All good things go in threes, said she. I am asked to stand godmother again. The child is quite black, only it has white paws, but without exception, it has not a single white hair on its whole body. This only happens once every few years. And you will let me go, won't you? Top off! Half done, answered the mouse. They are such odd names. They make me very thoughtful. You sit at home, said the cat, in your dark gray fur coat and long tail and are filled with fancies. That's because you do not go out in the daytime. During the cat's absence, the mouse cleaned the house and put in order, but the greedy cat entirely emptied the pot of fat. When everything is eaten up, one has some peace, said she to herself, and well filled and fat, she did not return home until night. The mouse at once asked what name had been given to the third child. It will not please you more than the others, said the cat. He is called All Gone. All Gone, cried the mouse. That is the most suspicious name of all. I have never seen it in print. All gone. What can that mean? And she shook her head, curled herself up, and lay down to sleep. From this time forth, no one invited the cat to be godmother. But when the winter had come, and there was no longer anything to be found outside, the mouse thought of their provision and said, Come, cat, we will go to our pot of fat which we have stored up for ourselves. We shall enjoy that. Yes, answered the cat. You will enjoy it as much as you would enjoy sticking that dainty tongue of yours out of the window. They set out on their way, but when they arrived, the pot of fat certainly was still in its place, but it was empty. Alas, said the mouse, now I see what has happened. Now what comes to light. You are a true friend. You have devoured all when you were standing godmother. First top off, then half done, then... "'Will you hold your tongue?' cried the cat. "'One word more, and I will eat you, too.' "'All gone,' was already on the poor mouse's lips. Scarcely had she spoken it before the cat sprang on her, seized her, and swallowed her down. Verily, that is the way of the world.
Well, <laughs> what? Uh, well, take your feelings where you will. Uh, I, uh, I did say this would be cute. I, uh, I did not expect to. Uh... All right, I gotta go. I gotta make food. I gotta get us ready. Uh, yes, thank you, Graffy, for hanging out. Uh, thank you for being a, a, a joyful audience member. I'll stay safe out there. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you for being here. Thank you for surviving. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I beat pandas. You are literally in the final minute. <laughs> Woo! Roller coaster ride! Wee! <laughs> Alright, get ready for a raid. Everybody, thank you for surviving the crazy shit that is. You know what? I don't even have a fucking place to send a raid that works. We're just gonna end it tonight. It's a Sunday night. It's 1.30 on the East Coast in the morning. Go to bed. Wake up tomorrow rested. Try and shake off the insanity that was Gilbert Garfield. And, uh, be good to each other, okay? Alright. Good night, everybody, and sleep tight. Thank you, everybody who contributed bits, subs, raids, follows, etc.